Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we had created a custom composite control that was within the application itself. So in this session, what we'll do is uh, we'll create a control library. And a library is a collection of uh, custom controls. And then we'll move the control that we created into this uh, control library. Uh, so like a, a library is like a collection of books. This uh, control library is a collection of controls. Uh, so we'll move our control into this control library. And then we'll make some modifications to the consuming application so that it now consumes the control from within the control library. And we'll make sure everything is working in SAP Web IDE. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm moving to my SAP Web IDE. And uh, in my Web IDE, I want to create a control library. So for that, I use the template. So I click a project from template. I choose uh, all categories. Uh, and I choose SAP Fury Library. And the name here I will give as Control Library. And uh, I will hit Next. And for the title, I'll say My Awesome Controls. And for namespace, I'll give com.sap. And I will leave this checked. So this is going to add a sample control to our library, uh, just so that we see how it is uh, structured. So I hit Next. And I go Finish. And this should create me a control library. Uh, and let's uh, go ahead and open it. And there is the source folder. So let me open the source folder. I'll open com and SAP, and you will see that there is a folder called controls. Now, if I open this controls folder, uh, there is this example.js. So this is the sample control uh, that got created because we had the check mark for a sample control. Uh, the important file here in this library is the library.js. And if I open this library.js file, I see that there is this uh, sample control listed here. Uh, so the controls uh, there we have a, a this property is an array, and the, the sample control is listed here. And similarly, if I go into the manifest.json file of the control library, I see that uh, the controls property has a an array with the sample control listed here. Uh, so let's go ahead and create our library, our uh, control in this uh, library. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my controls folder in the application that I already created. I'm going to copy both the XML file and the JS file of my control, and I'm just going to paste it into this controls folder. So I'm just going to paste it here, and I'm going to take my Fibonacci.js file. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to move this into my controls folder of the library. Uh, so at this moment, our library now has uh, our control. Um, but just to make sure everything is working from the library and not from within the application. I'm going to change the uh, the namespace here to control library. Uh, so we know that it is using this control library. And let me also copy this uh, this whole namespace for this control. And in my library.js file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this uh, value here. So now we have two controls that this library has. Uh, one is the sample control, and the other is the Fibonacci control. And I'm going to my manifest.json file here. And again, here, I'm going to paste my new control, the Fibonacci control. Uh, so let me go ahead and save it. And then this Fibonacci.js, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this control library project settings. Uh, and I will add uh, support for ES6. Um, so I will go here, uh, say ES6 as true, so that uh, uh, it, uh, we don't see that error message again. Uh, let me close it. Uh, let me close Fibonacci.js. Uh, let me open it up again. I, OK, I don't see this message. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this control library. So I'm going to say build project. Uh, this may take a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, what I can do is um, I can look at how we can modify our consuming application so that it now uses the control from within the control library. Uh, so here, what I'm going to do first thing is uh, I'm going to go into my controls folder. I no longer need it because I'm now going to use the control from within the library. Uh, so I'm going to rename this instead of deleting. I mean, I could delete it, but I'll just rename it for now. Uh, and I'll just say not used. So our application is definitely not going to use this, uh, this control. So this is where our control was before. 
and I renamed it to say uh, controls not used. So this is not going to get used now. Uh, now in my controller, uh, again, uh, just to make sure that we are using the control from the library, I had changed the namespace. Uh, so this my controls uh, now should say uh, control library. And I will also call, uh, yeah, so I changed the uh, Fibonacci to say uh, com slash SAP slash control library. Um, and then uh, I can do the same thing in my uh, app.view.xml file as well. So I go into my app.view.xml file here. And here again, I have the namespace. And I say I'm going to change this to control library and I believe that's how I've named it uh, so control library so that looks good uh, but let me also double check from within the control library so I open up my src folder and my fibonacci.js and it's called control library so we are looking good here uh, so what I've done so far at this moment is I have uh, created a control library and then what I've done is uh, I copied the control files, the JS file and the XML file into this controls folder. And then in my library, I made sure that I added uh, an entry for this controls. And also in my manifest.json, I added an entry as well. And you can see that the build of uh, the control library is complete. Okay, we've made changes to the controls, uh, the consuming application to consume the control from the control library. Uh, but before we run, we need to make sure the, the consuming application knows where the library is from. So we need to add a reference. So right click on the consuming application go to project add reference to library and here you will choose workspace because that's where the library is at this moment and we'll include this uh, com.sap and you can see that there are these controls I'm clicking this include and I say add and one other thing that we need to do is uh, we need to right click on this uh, thing go into run run configurations and we need to say uh, go into the advanced settings and say use my workspace first and so this is where it will find the uh, uh, find the control so like uh, let's click save and run and this should run the application and show the controls um, so let's uh, make sure that it is working um, let me hit F12 see if there is anything the issue Okay, looks like I didn't spell control library correct. Uh, so I need to go into uh, and make sure that I spell it correct. So let me go here. Uh, let me go into my app controller.js uh, library is not spelled right. So I will spell it correctly this time. Uh, let me save it and let me run it again. Let me hit refresh. Uh, hopefully this time it works. Okay, so this is working now. So I click uh, and it shows the next values. So this is working and this is also working and my reset is also working 5, 10, 50, 100. Okay, um, so that's it uh, for now. I will talk about the component control reusable uh, 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 pattern in the next session. Thanks.